This is a book called What I Loved by Siri Hustvet, published in 2003. I think it's fantastic. I think it's a superb book. I also think it's difficult for me to give a critique or review in three minutes or so. Partly because there's an awful lot in here. I've only read it once and I feel I would benefit greatly from going back to it and reading it again. Secondly, uh, there are places where spoilers would ruin it for a reader and yet those issues that come up with the spoilers are quite central to the book. So it's difficult to talk around it um, and not spoil it, but at the same time to give an impression of its power. So let me just try. The narrator is a, a, an elder art critic living in New York called uh, Leo and a lot the book in a sense centers around his friendship with an artist uh, called Bill who lives who lives in the same um, block of apartments in New York. Um, the four main characters are Leo, Bill and their two wives but they're also they're young children. When the book starts, the, these children are, um, you know, well under the age of ten. It's it, the style of the book is also interesting. The, the structure and format is basically written in three parts. The first part is very slow moving, and it gets into the world of art, um, and it gets into the nature of friendship and marriage, and it slowly kind of explores those those areas in beautiful writing. The first part concludes with a tragedy, tragedy, which then throws the second part into a much deeper examination of grief and, and uh, love and marriage and friendship when they're really tested. And then the third part goes into this wild, mad, um, uh, almost like a caper, a thriller, but with real kind of frightful evil at work in there. So. You know, you don't get a sense of the book you're going to read from the first section. And if you start at the, sec the last section, you wouldn't have at all a sense of the book that you have been reading, if you know what I mean. So there's a lot about art. Um, Bill's work is on a grand scale. He, he finally becomes quite famous. And uh, Siri Lutzfeld, she's not only a novelist, but she's also um, an art critic. But she's also a lecturer in psychology, a psychiatry rather. So she's a very skilled and knowledgeable person. She also writes beautifully. Bill's art features in various exhibitions and the exhibitions are so incredibly well described. You think they must exist, um, but, but they're works of um, Hustvet's imagination. Um, what else can I say about it really? The, the, Art is in there, but madness is in there too. She's incredible around psychopathy um, and, you know, very, very unnerving. Atmosphere is fantastic. The interior of these buildings, um, uh, ageing, reflecting on life, all those issues. Um, it's a serious book. There, there aren't a lot of laughs in it, um, but there's a kind of deep humanity. The art world is is sort of... It features from the 1970s, 80s, 90s through that period. And the worst of it's there, the pretensions, the, 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 the mixture of um, art and creativity with commerce and snobbery. But also the, the, the other side of the art world is there about art really enhancing and authenticating a life. So all these things are played with. It is a phenomenal read. Um, I, I really, really would recommend it. Um, and I'm certainly going to go back to it. I read this with my reading group back in January 2021, or for, before that, but that's when we met. And I'm still thinking about it. It's uh, it's August now, so it stayed with me. It's one of those books. Um, well, there you go. That's what I've got to say about it. But it made a big impression on me.